Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Dota of Increase. My name is Nancy Meese. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, as the title says, this is a three month book haul, kind of, sort of um kind of sort of so this is going to include all of the books that i got in may the books that i got in june and in july now i'm recording this on the 18th of july so i probably still have more books coming but i'm just going to include those in my like august book haul because we just want to get these books put away um actually i kind of sort of put these books away already um so now i just got to put them back on the shelf after i had organized my bookshelf um, if you haven't seen that organization video, I'll leave it linked down below. I got on in, um, on Facebook um, Live in the Facebook group and I just had a conversation and I was showing you guys me reorganizing my bookshelves because I did switch things around as you guys can see behind me. Don't pay this, this Bible section on mine. I got to organize that. But I did organize that section, that section, this and then the bottom one. But the Bible one needs to be organized. We just going to ignore that for the time being yes um but yeah these are all the books now i recently well previously i did record my may and june book haul but i just didn't care for the footage um if you guys follow me on insta well not really instagram but if you follow me in the facebook group or you watched my uh vlog you know what has been going on and things like that things are getting real serious you know in the world and it's finally catching up to me but i'm i'm much better than what i was those weeks ago um definitely much better moving differently seeing things differently and um definitely making it a priority to stay in in contact with the lord at all times um yeah no my dunkin donuts this is my dunkin donuts clear tumbler with my starbucks uh white chocolate coffee i like dunkin donuts i like starbucks I don't really like Starbucks coffee, but this Frappuccino thing, I don't even know what it is. Frappuccino, cappuccino, don't know, but it's good because it's white chocolate. That's the only thing I drink coffee-wise from Starbucks is their white chocolate mochas or white chocolate latte. The best outside of their refreshers. So good, but um, this does not have any of my sugar or creamers, unfortunately, because I just wasn't in the mood for that. But yeah, um, so we're going to get into this because it's quite a lot of books quite a lot of books i'm pretty sure i am missing about um sorry how's it look uh i think we're missing maybe three books that are like in transit that i know of but i just don't feel like waiting so we're gonna start off with may may was probably the most books i got in that month um all were review books i didn't pay for any of these um so yeah, I'm going to start off with my non-fiction books first for May. So the first one is this. This is the Country Cooking Made Easy, over a thousand delicious recipes. I got this in my Delilah box with another book, which you'll see. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. I love the pictures. <laughs> so I'm the type of person that enjoys cooking, but I don't like the process of cleaning up after cooking. So I don't cook, um, which sounds weird. I know, but... I like making the meals. I just don't like the cleanup process after. That's my hat. That like that's that's a bad thing for me, um, because you know when I'm in the kitchen, whip it up in the kitchen. But I just I don't like the process of cleaning up. It irritates me. So, yeah. And there are some recipes in here that I really want to try out. So, hopefully we can get this going. I mean, there's like the way they have this set up is like into different sections. So you have your. Um, your breakfasts and snacks, your eggs and cheese, your soups and chowders, salads and vegetables, your beans and grains, um, your, your fish and seafood, your poultry and game, your meats, your pastas, your bacon, your preserves, your desserts, and things like that. So, I'm excited for this. It's not Christian related, but it's a cookbook that I got in my Christian box. So, yeah. Um, moving on, let me make sure I don't break my actual glasses. I have okay so these glass the glasses you guys always see me wear like the fun colored glasses are glasses that I get from firmu.com but these are actually like the glasses that I got from my doctor um like prescribed from the doctor these have prescriptions in them of course I paid for them um well I didn't pay for them I got these free for review but uh these came from the doctor and I never want to break these so we're gonna put those there but okay so then I got this um from the encouraged community I got this from B&H books 
for May um, and it's a mother's love celebrating every kind of mom from the encouraged community and I have another one of their books like this but it's kind of like a devotional in a sense where there is some reading on a biblical woman that was like a mom figure and then there is something from I guess one of the women part of the encourage then there's a reflection section so it's pretty interesting um i haven't started it yet i might do it next mother's day or uh, next may but we have this then i have the power of the decree releasing the authority of god's word through declaration from patricia king i think i do have another book from this author on my shelf that has like the same kind of feel can't really remember but um yeah I got it I requested it from chosen yeah from chosen for review um it's a really small book I haven't read it though oh but this one has questions to ponder I don't ever look inside of these books when I get them I just throw them to the side because I know I need to haul them but this one is interactive we know I like interactive books I love books that ask me questions that I can like answer and fill out or I need a journal to answer because we know I like talking to the text Talking to the text is like the best thing that anyone could teach you in school. In school, in high school and college, when they teach you to talk to the text and like writing your classic novels and things like that, like the best. So now when it comes to books like these, especially when there's like questions and stuff, I'm here for it. I'm excited for that. That just got me super excited. And then this one I actually paid for myself at Walmart. My mom and I got a copy and this is the large print woman of the Bible for a woman of color. And here's what that looks like it is so gorgeous but it literally just goes through um different women of the bible and um i'm super excited because it doesn't just stick on the well-known women there are women like yael jael excuse me in here and um zipporah zelophad's daughters um the woman of thebes i don't even know who she is you know it goes through a lot so let me just show you guys but it gives you that perspective of a woman of color which i'm super super excited about like so excited for so we have this i haven't started it yet because when i do this i really actually want to like sit and complete it so we have that um now on to the fiction books i have one contemporary it is where the road bends by david rowlings um i did read this i enjoy david rowlings writing is he's a contemporary author he is australian i was about to say canadian he's Aust he's an australian author um all of his books are like this tiny like type of book they're really cute um i do have his other two books in hardcover editions but um yeah this was pretty good i enjoyed it that's where the road bends i received this for a blog tour or was it an instagram tour probably both probably a blog tour and an instagram tour that i was a part of um so we have that I have a middle grade that I got from B&H Books. It's The Edge of Everyone by A.S. Mackey. Um, this book, what I, I like that it has an autistic character. It's following a 13-year-old girl named Piper and her brother Phoenix. Her brother Phoenix has um, autism. They are both dealing with the loss of their parents. So they're dealing with that grief, that sorrow. Um, they go live with their kind of mean aunt. And they come across this book. I'm guessing it, it, this book is called... Um, the novus fabula um and it's in the verboten library but it's basically their search for truth and truth is capitalized so i love fantasy books that focus on the bible and god and give it such a fantastical kind of feel and the fact that this is little great and it deals with autism and it also deals with um grief and loss and stuff like that i'm super super excited to dive into this and i love 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 that gold foil it is everything um okay so then i only have one biblical fiction from may and that was haba by tosca lee this is already like marked up into three days worth of reading because this i will be reading it this month that's my plan um but yeah this i did get in my book box along with that cookbook from the delilah box and um this did come signed <clears throat> she is signed now i did read um iscariot by tosca lee which is the story of judas loved it so much and i'm also going to be getting my hand on the legend of shiba which i cannot wait for that copy to come in the mail um so yeah i think there's only one more book that i want to get let me see i think it's called demon 
yeah the book is called demon um that is the only other book from Tosca Lee that i really want to get i know she writes like suspense novels as well here's a postcard i guess from her with like her books on it i know that she writes a lot of like suspense and a little bit of fantasy but i definitely want to read her biblical fictions because i was sold on judas iscariot i gave that a four star rating or 4.5 can't remember but it was so good i read that earlier in the year during the time when i had started that sort of um faith-based readathon that readathon will be coming soon because i know a lot of people are interested in doing a faith-based readathon i just did that readathon to see how i would feel about it um but i definitely want to definitely push a faith-based readathon which will be coming in the fall i was going to do it at the end of summer but i really want to take the the this time to like really develop it and then push it out to other christian um youtubers and booktubers and things like that but Hava, this is the story of Eve, and I'm super, super excited um, to read this because I enjoyed Judas' um, story, and yeah, I don't read many stories about Eve at all, so I'm excited for that. Okay, so from Bethany House, I have At Love's Command by Karen Whit Whitmire, Whitmire, I think it's the first man, first book in the Hangers Horseman series, um, Cowboys sort of a western feel set in the 1890s in texas that's all i know um i requested it because it was something i wanted to try i don't read a lot of western style books either so i think the only western style book i've read and fully enjoyed was redeeming love so yeah i want to get into other ones and um the cover's cute it's not like really eye-catching but it's cute so I have a problem with requesting books. We know this. Um, the last three are all from Rebel. Um, the Heart of a Hero by Susan May Warren. I did read the first book. Ugh, loved it so much. And, uh, well, not loved it, loved it, but I enjoyed it. Sorry, guys, my phone went off. But um, this is a sequel, which follows the friend of Arya and Jake. And Arya and Jake were so funny in the first book. The first book is called um, The Way of the Brave. Enjoyed that one, but Arya and Jake and that were like so comical. Their romance was everything, so definitely had to snag the sequel when it was up. So, The Heart of a Hero. This is contemporary romance and it's set in the Denali or something like that. Yeah, um, Arya. Okay, so on book one, Arya and her two friends were they went hiking or climbing in the Den on the Denali mountain and kind of got stuck and lost and injured during that time and then they were saved by orion and his friends with jake so um this is just the aftermath of that but oh it says a hurricane okay so this one has to do with a hurricane all right i'm here for it um then we have these other two i got from rebel for their blog tours so this was what mama left behind um by cindy k sproles sproles i think that's how you say that um, takes place in 1877, the Appalachian Mountains. Um, Wari's mother was secretly feeding little ones on Sourwood Mountain. She's dealing with two good-for-nothing brothers. One is greedy and one is drunkard. Um, and she's basically discovering the beauty of unconditional love and the power of forgiveness as she cares for all of Mama's children. So what Mama left behind, I'm assuming, is pretty much the story of um, her raising or taking care of these orphans as well as dealing with her retarded brothers um sounds interesting it's short i'm here for it we love a good short book we do so i love this cover though this cover is gorgeous not really the like the, the her but like everything below her i love that landscape oh, gorgeous and then i have a reckless love um it's a part of the daltry house series i don't this is book three and it's by beth white i'm not gonna lie this was a cover request um i saw lavender and pink and i was here for it i knew it was historical romance i saw lavender and pink um didn't know it was book three but who cares because these books are more like companions instead of like actual follow-up series so yeah it's like it says these two may have met their match in each other Ooh, that sounds interesting i ain't even gonna read them all but yes and the main character's name is aurora that's different it's it's not ophelia it's not anything with the C. I'm, I'm sick of Charlotte's and Caroline's and Ophelia's. It's, it's annoying. So the fact that her name is Aurora, I'm excited, okay? I'm excited for a new character, a new name. But honestly, like I said, this was legit a cover request. Like, gorgeous. 
spine gorgeous the back just cover request not gonna lie about that not gonna lie about that but those are all of the books that i got in may so moving on to june i didn't get a lot um so the first thing i got i'll show you guys is my bible study from tessa Afshar. she did write her first bible study which is on the book of ruth we know i love ruth number one we know i love tessa Afshar. number two and i love moody publishers um bible studies because their bible studies are set up in a devotional style which i enjoy so um the way home which is god's invitation to new beginnings i got the set that came with the dvd so i had the dvd and the actual study i think was like $24 together um not including shipping so with shipping it was like 30 and 30 dollars some change um so I'll leave links to the individual purchase of the book and then the package deal again I got it directly from Moody because Amazon there was something with Amazon with them listing her DVD um and I really did want to support her so yeah I did start though I have started I'm not gonna lie when it comes to doing these like bible studies i start them and then i fall off so i haven't done it since day two week one day two literally i started it and never went back to finish a little behind i wanted to complete this by the end of the by the middle of august but i'm behind it's okay i'm still gonna keep going with this bible study though because i am enjoying it but um yeah the way home Tessa Ashar, we know I love her. We know I stand. Okay, we know. Um, do I have another fiction? Yes. Uh, so I have one historical fiction. Um, this is the first book, if I'm not mistaken, in a love along, love along the wires, and it's line by line by Jennifer Delamere. I think that's how you say it. Again, it it was a cover request. Um, the cover was pretty. I liked her dress on top of like the brown background. No one can ever tell me that they don't buy books or request books because they're pretty. Like, I like pretty books. Hopefully it's a good book. If not, it will go. Um, what I'm learning is that I don't want to annotate a lot of my books anymore. Um, at least on the first read. Because it's not guaranteed that I'm going to like it. And I might want to give it away. Even though I don't like giving away, give, like giving away my books. But if I'm not going to like it and I know someone else would prefer it, I don't want to annotate in it. So... I'm working on doing that so that is something I'm working on well biblical fiction will always be annotated but when it comes to like historical fictions and um the contemporary anything that's non-biblical fiction related but is in a Christian fiction genre I don't want to annotate immediately because there's no telling if I'm going to enjoy the story if it's not at least a four stars I don't want to keep it um on my shelves but if I already annotated it then I have to keep it so it's that type of thing but this cover looks cute so, yeah, this is set. It does. It, it's set in London. It don't say what year though. So, oh, but it's based off Job forty two five. Interesting. That's literally like the first scripture I see is Job forty two five. But it's set in the eighteen eighties. So, I think I liked the eighteen hundreds or was it the nineteen hundreds for your for European stories? Can't remember. We'll give it a go though. Um, and then I have three non-fictions so i have this one which is 10 prayer secrets supernatural power for your breakthrough um this little book is so cute first of all i thought it was gonna be like a larger book i didn't know it was gonna be this cute and tiny and small and just everything i love the end pages so cute this is written by hakeem collins it is from chosen all of these books are from chosen but um this it gives you the, the 10 secrets of prayer and then on the second part it gives you a 30 days 30 days of prayer for restoration so it's kind of like it gives you a key scripture something like a devotional it gives you some reflection questions to think about it gives you some prayer declarations that's mainly scripture related so they're giving you scripture to declare um it's giving you a prayer other scriptures to study i'll show you guys and then activation basically how you can apply it so i think that it's so dope and you guys know i did the 30 day prayer challenge a while ago so i'm definitely going to try this out for myself so um yeah i think this book is too like too cute and tiny it's so cute so we have that um and then i have the pursuit of god by aw tozer so um this one is edited by james l snyder it's a definitive classic so i think it's just them taking the actual like the pursuit of god and then reworking it um and updating it i guess uh i do own his bind up though 
I own A.W. Tozer's bind up. It has the pursuit of God, God's pursuit of man, and something about holy. Boom, I got this card. This book is the book I have right here. <laughs> so the knowledge of holy, the pursuit of God, and then God's pursuit of man is the book that I own. Um, I also have his evening and morning devotionals. And I think I have another one. There's another book I have from him. I have my classics right there, so hold on. A Cloud by Day, A Fire by Night. That's the book. I'm sorry, I had to look. But um, I definitely want to build my collection of A.W. Tozer and C.S. Lewis books um, because I know that they're well-known um, men within the Christian spectrum. I guess that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense, but yeah. So I have that bind up right there. So I was going to give this one away, but I think this has different content in it. So I'm excited for this. Um, can't wait to read it. So that's all I can say about that. Um, and then I have Victory Over the Darkness by Neil T. Anderson. This is, however, the revised and updated edition. Now, if you guys can see this, uh, this is hard. This book right here, not that top one, but this bottom one, that is my older edition of Victory Over the Darkness. I did get a copy from a local library and I shared it with you guys the inside of how that one was like written in, I believe by a man and possibly a woman. There was two different handwritings in the book and they like annotated it, which I fell in love with. But I saw that um, Bethany House had, they were releasing an updated revised edition and they sent me the information if I wanted to uh, request it for review and I was totally here for it. So now I have the revised updated edition and I'm super, super excited so now I can read it because I do own three of his Bible study series within the Victory series. Um, so I'm excited for this. I'm super, super excited, but I'm still going to read the other copy that I have because it does have notes from the other two people that read it prior to me getting it. Um, but now I have this nice, clean, fresh copy. So yeah, these were the books that I got for the month of June. And now on to this beautiful month of july i don't have that many books but i have many books if that makes sense okay so i'm trying to figure out the best way to do this without making much of a mess okay Alrighty. so i have one bible study for this month um and it's going to be seeking him by nancy demoss wilgameth and tim grimson it's experiencing the joy of personal revival it's a 12-week bible study i did get this from moody four of you so yeah i work with moody publishers um part of their blogger program so i will leave a link down below for that information but i did request this i got it and i'm super excited i love the setup of this is very much different from their other studies so i can't wait um so here it is sorry if you guys hear that noise so yeah but um we have that then i have the books that i got from the delilah box so i have this sort of study of faith prayer and praise it's hannah's song what love looks like by diana diane diana Hagee. um i love this cover you guys saw me baby bought it in the unboxing but um yeah it's Using scripture, powerful storytelling, and real life examples, a study will help you establish a foundation of Bible knowledge. Search the word for answers to everyday life. Challenge yourself to dig deeper. Reflect on God's word. Discover what God's word is approach. I'm sorry. Discover that God's word is approachable and equip you to live the victorious committed life. So this is literally a study of First Samuel chapters 1 all the way to chapter 3, which I'm here for. I've actually been studying 1 Samuel for church for Sunday school lessons, so that is interesting for me. Um, then I received the When We Were Young book by Karen Kingsbury. This is book three in one of her series. One of these series. I think it's the Baxter's Family series. Yeah, the Baxter Family Collection. This is book four. I think of that series so if you guys can tell me can I read this without reading the other books or the entire series or do I have to read the series in order because I know that these follow like different characters from the series but I don't really know so this it says it follows Noah and Emily Carter so please let me know do I have to like read this in order or can I just read this and then backtrack to the other books because 
I know this is a very long series. I know that it is because it like there's series there's like a book series for each of the family of like of the kids and and the husband and wife. It's a long series, I know. So let me know. Can I read this? Should I read this or should I just like not read it yet and read the book series in order? Because I know for a fact from here all the way here is the Baxter family. So you have all these books and all these books part of the Baxter's family. Now, there is a family tree in here which I didn't realize and so just now there's a family tree in here. So I don't really know. I don't even see Noah or Emily. Oh, because they're part of the Carters, right? I don't know. I don't know how this series goes. So let me know how I should read this. Okay. Then I have Claudia, Wife of Pointus Pilot by Diana Wallace Taylor. I only own um, The Journey to the Well by her, which is the story of the Samaritan woman. Uh, the, the yeah the Samaritan woman at the well with Jesus so I'm super excited for this Claudia wife of Pointis Pilots pilot excuse me um and this is biblical fiction this was published by Rebel so I'm super excited for this okay and then I received one more book it's an arc the peasant's dream by Melody Dickerson this is the 11th and final book in her Hagenheim series which is basically a YA fairy tale retelling series that she does where she takes takes those classic fairy tales like Mulan, Cinderella, um, The Princess and the Frog and she makes them more young adult friendly while adding in those Christian faith aspects which I adore. I have read books 9, 10, and 11. Book 9 was the story of Mulan. My favorite hands down Mulan. That was my favorite. Book 10 was the story of the Pied Piper and then this is book 11 which is a gender swapped reimagining of Cinderella so instead of Cinderella being the sort of servant girl and the prince being the, the guy being the prince it's more so Cinderella is actually a princess who falls in love with a poor kid and it is so beautifully written the one on Mulan is still my favorite the warrior maiden but I did enjoy this um so I've read books 9 10 and 11 so I think I want to read books 1 through 8 and then I also want to read her adult versions because she does have some adult novels as well so Melody, Melanie Dickerson is definitely an author I'm starting to really really enjoy her work so yeah we have that and then I decided to pick up three biblical fictions from Amazon because my sis and I, we do, my sis and I, Stephanie from Closing Beauty and Books, quickly added to go to her channel. We better read every month. Um, we mainly stick to biblical fiction, but we have been like diving into like um, romantic suspenses and YA fantasies and stuff like that. So we had started a series in June, which was the Restoration Chronicles by Lynn Austin. So um, we went Return to Me, so then we decided we loved it so much that we wanted to pick up the other two books. So we actually just finished reading the sequel, which is Keepers of the Covenant. This was so good. Um, it was a four point, well, four star read for me. It wasn't like something I was completely sold on, but um, you guys can see the green tabs. This had so many nuggets. It does follow the story of um, Ezra, so it's the book of Ezra. And then I have book three, which is on this foundation, which follows um, the prophet Nehemiah. So I'm super excited for that. Uh, the last book I got is a book that many people have raved about to me from this author. Now, I have read th two books from this author. One I loved, Hands on a Five Star. The other one, not too much, did not care for. And I have one more book from her. Um, which is a bind up so um the author is Francie Rivers I adored Redeeming Love from her that was a five star read for me hands down and then I read Sons of Encouragement <laughs> yeah we're not gonna talk about that we're we not gonna talk about Sons of Encouragement because that book made me mad it was a bind up of five novellas that she wrote and um of the five novellas I think I only really enjoyed two the story of Jonathan and the story of Silas I could not stand the one on Caleb because how she wrote Joshua I, I didn't like it I didn't like it like at all at all um it made me mad we're gonna leave it there was it Joshua I think it was Joshua whoever I think it was Joshua but whatever we have a voice in the wind so many people have raved about this book to me so I'm like you know what finally caved in and got it off of Amazon and I'm excited to actually read it 
hopefully it's good because I do want to get the other two books but I don't want to I'm, I'm learning that I don't need to buy all the books of a series especially if I didn't read the first book yet or if I don't know how I feel about the author I know that I like her writing but after reading Sons of Encouragement I'm not too sure I do have a lineage of grace which I haven't yet read but um yeah I finally got my hands on Voice in the Wind and a lot of people love it so because everyone loved um Redeeming Love I'm sure I'm going to love it so once I get in halfway into this I will then go and um get the other books but yeah that is it for this video you guys lots of books lots of stuff going on but yeah i am excited to have these books i'm gonna now stick all these books back on my shelf i will have an updated shelf tour coming probably i want to do one this year but i'm thinking i'm just gonna wait till january 2021 but um yeah that is it for this video you guys thank you guys for watching reading comment and subscribing if you want any more information on any of these books, let me know. If you guys are interested in any of the programs of how I get these books for free, all of the links are down below. Some of these programs, they do require that you have a blog for a certain amount of time. Um, so all that information will be on the website if you check it out. And um, if you want a review on anything specific, also let me know. But thank you guys for watching, reading, commenting, and subscribing and all that great stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!